Hello, everybody, and welcome to this webinar, which uh, we want to show you BTS, this uh, vehicle test suite, uh, our solution for vehicle dynamics testing. My name is Marco Pesce. I work in Leal International, along we are partners from with Devisoft uh, to develop uh, solutions for vehicle testing. And let's start with uh, this top presentation. Uh, so here uh, is what we are going to talk about in this webinar. It is uh, why we developed uh, BTS. And then we will focus a little bit on the application requirement of objective vehicle dynamics testing. And then we will look at the solution based on DevSoft, uh, that is vehicle test suite. We will have an overview of uh, its features and uh, a live demonstration of what we developed. Uh, so let's start with why VTS. Uh, this uh, vehicle testing suite is developed in order to speed up the process of objective vehicle dynamics testing, combining the flexibility of the soft tools, hardware and software, plus a dedicated uh, plugin for vehicle dynamics calculation, and a user interface designed specifically for easy operation on a test track by a test driver. So we have a straight process going from hardware. Uh, raw data comes into DevSoft, where vehicle dynamics plugin processes them. And finally, the user interface, which is very easy to use on the track on the by the track uh, by the test driver in order to improve his work and to maximize efficiency and on the proving down. Uh, coming to the application, we have, uh, let's say, from our point of view, four main requirements. Uh, first two are related to the test process itself. That is requirement about data acquisition and data processing based on ISO standard 15037. And specific requirement related to each test maneuver that is uh, necessary to characterize the vehicle dynamic behavior steady state, uh, step steer, on center, etc. Then we have what we call the customer requirements. It is first of all the quality of the measurements and then uh, cost efficiency. This means, for example, uh, concerning the first two requirement, uh, technical aspect concerning sampling, management of the coordinate system, filtering the data in the proper way, and considering the effect of sensor position, for example, and uh, how to, perf to perform uh, every test maneuver, that is execution condition related, for example, to nominal speed or to steering frequency or steering velocity, and validation condition. That means we have to make sure that certain objective parameters, like, for example, speed, are within some tolerances. Concerning measurement quality, we need to guarantee compliance of the test execution to the international or company standards. And we have to guarantee that accuracy on the whole measurement chain from sensor to the acquisition system, uh, to data processing, and possibly improve the human factor. So making that means that put the test driver in condition to make his job at its best. And of course, overall cost efficiency means saving time uh, during over all the, the process from the preparation phase to the execution of the test on the test on the proving ground. So let's start to have a look at the overall system. First of all, we have vehicle setup uh, which includes transducer like uh, IMU, GNSS system, optical sensor, steering wheel angle and torque sensor, etc., from many uh, data sources, analog, CAN, uh, whatever. And of course, this is managed by hardware, DevSoft hardware and software, 
we may have similar configuration like DB43, which is the basic, or R2DB or SBOX plus serious modules um, or Krypton or what you want. This is the first step. Then these this data collected by the system are processed by vehicle dynamics plugin. Uh, which satisfy requirement number one, it is to output uh, vehicle state channels that are processed according to ISO 15 or 37. And so the, the first task of the plugin is uh, managing the channel mapping that is uh, needed in order to know which signal is what. For example, steering wheel angle, vehicle velocity, lateral acceleration, and so on. And then there are pre-processing tasks related to synchronization, management of the coordinate frames, uh, filtering, etc. Here we have just a few pictures. We, we, we do not uh, spend time on this because we do not have time. But just to make some example, managing coordinate system means you have, may have channels uh, with acceleration lateral positive on the left side or the right side. That means ISO or SAE coordinate system. Then we have specific requirements for, for filtering and calculation of some channels like, for example, roll and pitch angles from highlight sensor. This is just an example of what we can do. Uh, and other important thing is to translate measurement from the sensor, that is from the point where the data are collected, to a reference point uh, for data evaluation. So these tasks are performed by Beko Dynamics plugin in the first processing step. Second step is to calculate the objective matrix uh, in order to validate uh, each test maneuver. So also in this case, we have a number of settings uh, and calculation done by Beko Dynamics plugin. First of all, let's say a maneuver selector. It is plugin must know what is the maneuver that we are going to perform example, a step steer. And uh, based on some other maneuver settings, the plugin makes calculation of objective metrics. That can be a steady state value of some quantities, or the application rate of steering wheel angle, the, the rate of lateral acceleration or your rate in the transient, some peaks, uh, etc. It depends. It's very specific of every single maneuver. But at the end of the process, we have uh, channels in Devsoft containing the objective matrix that can be used, for example, for uh, validation. So here we go to, to see um, a small demo. So first of all, we run Devsoft. And in the meantime, I show you the, our, let's say, experimental setup. We just have a DB43, which is easily connected to our PC. And this box uh, is a vehicle simulator. Uh, it has inside a vehicle model running in real time. And it outputs data on the CAN bus. So we just connect the simulator to our DB43. And now we go to DBSOP. Okay, so here we select the setup. We already have uh, loaded the, the DBC to manage all the, the, the input channels. Here they are. And I want to show you what we do in Vapor Dynamics plugin settings concerning the input channel. This is an example. Uh, what we have seen before as a channel mapping. We have to come in this table and uh, make an assignment of each uh, quantity uh, to the corresponding physical channels. So steering wheel angle, steering wheel torque, velocity, size lip angle, uh, lateral acceleration, Okay, so this is done. We, we assign the main channels, at least the one that are needed to perform uh, 
black color dynamics. And then we can select, uh, we have all other options here concerning filtering, concerning the coordinate frame. We can say if a channel is uh, left positive, or right positive, or whatever, uh, for example. And then we select the maneuver. Here we have a maneuver catalog, which is the tests that are available, uh, that are mainly ISO standard tests for vehicle dynamics uh, characterization. Uh, here we have the maneuver settings, uh, where we have triggering condition. It is condition that the plugin uh, needs in order to identify the useful part of the data acquisition. That is where the actual maneuver take, takes place, uh, where the start input, the, the steering wheel input starts, and where it ends, for example. And then we have a nominal condition, for example, 100 kph of nominal speed, and uh, other parameters that are typical for the execution of a pitch test. Then if we go to measure, okay, here we have a, our measurement display. We may have a different display according to the maneuver. Now this is optimized for slow increasing steer. And uh, we try to run a test with our simulator. Just start the maneuver. And here we see steering wheel angle. Here the maneuver finished. And you can see that here vehicle dynamics plugin calculated some parameters like initial speed uh, and steering wheel velocity, etc. And I can change some condition going back to setup. Uh, change the maneuver, for example, step steer. And uh, again, go to maneuver settings and adjust some parameters and go back to measure in order to perform um, another maneuver setting the, the proper screen. So this is uh, really, uh, let's say, quite easy. And uh, we see that we have uh, all the functionalities to perform uh, vehicle dynamics testing. But uh, this is good. This is what exactly what we need. But uh, uh, it could be somehow tricky for some test driver to manage these settings. And uh, this is why we want to develop um, vehicle uh, test suite and to make easier life of uh, the, the test driver. So uh, let's go back to our slides just for a while. And uh, this is what PTS allows to do in an easier way. First of all, it allows to collect vehicle data and sensor settings, which could be possible also with data leader, for example. But uh, we wanted to include them in this application in order to manage everything concerning to the test session. So we have vehicle data uh, like uh, brand, model, identification number, weight, size, and uh, tire fitment, uh, and so on. And uh, we record also the sensor location, which is important for data processing. Then we have, uh, for each maneuver, some predefined configuration, which include uh, the preferred sample rate, uh, the detection condition for the maneuver, as we said before, triggering condition to detect the, uh, the part of interest of the actuation and execution condition and the threshold for validation condition, which are parametric. Uh, then we have uh, easy selection of the test maneuver and of the days of setup to be used for measurement. And finally, after we select a maneuver, we go to the measurement panel where we have basic uh, command needed like start, stop, storing, but also the most commonly used uh, nominal condition. For example, in this measurement panel, I can change the nominal speed or some other parameters without having to go to the rest of the setup and then reaching again to measure. It's all available from this panel and it's a lot easier for, from, for the driver. So what is the workflow? Uh, we select a test session. 
then we select a maneuver, like for example, a step steal. Uh, this leads us to the measurement panel where we can set uh, some nominal condition if needed and just run the test. Immediately at the end of the test, we have uh, a validation report with uh, green or red, red light and uh, a validation check for individual validation condition. For example, if the nominal speed is okay, if the steering velocity is okay or not. And at this point, the driver just can save or discard the data and repeat this process until he has a minimum number of valid test run, three, four, five, what is needed by the, by the data analysis department. And then this process is repeated going through all the maneuvers that are required. Frequency sweep, uh, uh, step steer, uh, and, and so on. So, this is how the entire solution may satisfy the requirement number three and four concerning quality of the job done and also uh, cost uh, effectiveness, meaning the, the test driver does not waste time on the proving ground to check the data and, and so on. So, at, at this point, we can have uh, another short demo about uh, what the test looks like using BTS instead of using, uh, let's say, Devisoft alone. So we start BTS. Then Just a moment to swap. Okay. Uh, we have to wait a few seconds to loading of the result. And then we see this is the user interface of BTS, which loads the result via DCOM and then shows this, uh, this part of the, the test session that are uh, already prepared and ready to be run or the, the session that have already been completed. So here we see the general data for the vehicle, uh, data about sensor configuration, that means uh, coordinate system, coordinate frame orientation, positions of the sensor, uh, then data of the vehicle and uh, of the tires. So once we select this, we can uh, uh, go to the maneuver selection, for example, handling. Uh, we can pick up, first of all, if we need, we can change the measurement setup. Then we just select the maneuver, the same as before, for example, slow increase in steer. We see that, there is, that BTS loads the setup and then uh, we are ready to go. Uh, if we want, we can change this parameter. Let's take 100 kph and 30 degrees per second of uh, steering velocity. Then let's start the acquisition and start the test in the simulator. So the test is running. Here we see some real time feedback how the maneuver is processing. This means Vehicle Dynamics plugin has detected correctly the, the start and the end of the maneuver. Uh, so I have the output on the other screen. So just repeat it. Uh, let's start. So here we see steering wheel actuation in red, lateral acceleration in orange. The maneuver has completed. And we see here the validation report. This case is not good. Why? Because steering wheel velocity is about 40 degrees per second, while we had a requirement of 30 degrees per second. So this condition and this alone is not good. So at this point, we can decide to save the, the test anyway. 
or to discard it. Now we can repeat the maneuver, changing the parameter on the simulator. Let's do 30 degrees per, per second as the requirement. We start the data acquisition. We start the simulation. Okay, it's running again, more or less as before. Stop the maneuver. But this time everything is okay. Speed, steering velocity, steering uh, linearity. And so it's okay. We have our feedback, we save the results. And we, we can go testing until we reach uh, a minimum number of test values, is three, four. Okay. Uh, another feature we can go to analyze and see what we have done before. We can go through several maneuvers. And we have some tables with statistics. So we see, for example, for left and right maneuver, what we have performed, uh, averages, standard deviations, and so on, which is a very useful feature. And this can be done and checked directly on the proving ground without the need to go to the desktop, to analyze the data, and maybe to discover that we need to repeat some tests. So, uh, OK, we are running a bit short of time, so we go back to our presentation. Just to close and to sum up. Uh, so, uh, what are the advantages of using this VTS application? The uh, advantage is that it has a complete solution, perfectly integrated with the soft hardware and software. And uh, it provides, uh, it, basically it makes uh, much more easy for the test driver to manage all the settings of the vehicle dynamics plugin. Uh, it allows to check immediately which validation condition are right or wrong after each test run. It allowed to look at previous test run to check, uh, for example, standard variation and leverages or some parameters, and to save the test files, but also the additional data like vehicle characteristics, uh, tire fitment, and sensor location, uh, together with the, the measurement in a predefined archive stack structure, and uh, also to to store some uh, uh, preferences concerning how the a certain maneuver must be done and must be analyzed. So definitely this means that uh, it allows to save time and also money, of course, uh, as you know. So at the end, uh, I want to thank you for uh, joining us for this webinar. Uh, this will be available on the Vesat YouTube channels. And uh, please do not hesitate to contact us for more information or for any questions. Thank you.